Alright guys, C4 Motorsports here. Today we're going to be gasket matching the uh, intake and the uh, the head on my buddy's race motor. Uh, you, you watched the last video where we took the, mo the head off of the motor and, and he sent it into the machine shop. Well today it's back. He wants to do this real quick because I'm a lot cheaper than the machinist is. So I did it on my motor. I'm going to do it on his. Help him out a bunch. Somebody's already played around a little bit with it, kind of cleaning it up, but I'm going to make it better. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to show you, and if you haven't already, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, if you comment, I'll try to get back with you. I try to get to everybody, so make sure you subscribe, though. That really helps me out, and I appreciate it. All right, so problem number one was the adapter for the carburetor to go on to the uh, fuel-injected intake which you have to have in order to even run the carburetor but as you can see this is like tapered I don't know how well you can kind of there you go you kind of see how that's tapered well when you put it on the carburetor I'll throw it on here real quick just to show you when you put it on there before it was intruding into the actual where the butterflies are at Let's see if I can operate that see where the butterflies are at you know so you don't want any restriction on there it was it was right up in here and down here it was intruding into the into the circle of the butterflies there it would still open the butterflies but you know it was just slamming air into an edge so we went ahead and just kind of real quick ground that off out of the way you don't need to go any more than that as long as it's clearing you're fine uh, and then this the intake or I'm sorry the head itself hasn't hasn't really been messed with at all yet I'm gonna do that do you see the see the black marks around there that's where I'm gonna take it to just to to gasket match it here's the intake now this is where the majority of the work's got to be done you can see see how it's flat right here well if you noticed on the head the head is you know circular or oval I guess but what we're going to do is we're going to gasket match both of them to the gasket. Well, the, you see the shape of the gasket by this black line around here. So what that's going to do is before when the air would come out of the intake and go into the head, it would just, you know, like you see in a river where it creates that little backdraft. We well, don't want that. You want to smooth, you know, f smooth flow through there. So we're going to go ahead and go ahead and get rid of that crap and we'll open these up. But uh, what I wanted to show you mostly was somebody has already been into this, which this shiny stuff up here was me. I was playing around a little bit with it. Um, but somebody's been into here. You see how thin this is right here? It's kind of knife edge, just right here in this little spot. Well, that's basically what we're going to do. But you see the black marks where all this, that's just slamming into that. All this air, especially this right here in the center. The air is just slamming into that and creating turbulence. You don't want that in there. But somebody's gone in and smoothed out all the factory casting marks. So these intakes have like a, it almost looks like styrofoam. This is the way I describe it all the time. It was styrofoam with like a casting uh, edge, I guess you'll call it, on it. And somebody's gone in there and cleaned all them out, but... I just started playing around a little bit right here, just cleaning, cleaning up the black stuff off of it with the sander disc. But I'm going to uh, get into it, and I'm going to knife edge all this stuff, and they'll actually square these up a little bit more than round, but make them all as close to the same as you can get. Thin these up here, probably knife edge all of this. this ideally, this right here should be a like a spike to, to evenly flow it throughout all four of them not a flat you know that's that's as flat as it gets right there and you gotta understand there's an inch you could have and they actually make a, uh, a one inch spacer that turns this into a, into a spike is what it does and knife edges it all to help with the airflow but we're cheap and we're old school so we're going to get out the old uh, air powered die grinder there and I got different bits and stuff for it we're going to get in here and knife edge all that up and I'll, I'll show you some of that process so. so here's with the gasket on the head so you can see that those black marks that go around there 
or the size you know normally if, if you're dealing with fresh nice clean stuff which I never get nice clean stuff from him but uh, if it is nice and clean all you do is you just throw your gasket on there line up your holes and everything real good and you just take a marker just a sharpie marker or whatever and just go around there and make yourself a mark that way you don't have to have that on there while you're you're grinding and stuff so I just wanted to show you that real quick on the on the head itself plus we have we'll do the other side too, the exhaust ports because everything is, is stock on this thing so far so okay well now hopefully you'll get the idea just how big these things need to go see the the holes in that versus the little dinky holes in there look at that isn't that crazy so we're going to open this thing up this ought to breathe like a whole new motor here soon so I'm going to go ahead and start grinding and show you some of that. Alright, here we go. You can see I got the, I don't even know what you want to call this thing. Uh, some kind of a, it's not like, I don't think it's carbide, but it's got like little, I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but it's got little like diamond type things cut in it to, to really hog out on that aluminum. So whatever that's called, if you know what it's called, comment in the comment section below let me know i'd love to know the technical name for things but i never know them right offhand so the doohickey there so we're gonna go ahead and try to you know bring some of this in some and not have it so flat right there so that's what i'm gonna work on right now kit had well here's the kit has all kinds of different ends in there Ooh, there you go get an idea of what we're looking at here all different kinds of ends and stuff so I figured I'd play around with these a little bit see you know because this here just kind of drops off real quick right after the, you know right after it's probably a quarter inch of a lip there and it just drops right into this this tube here so this one's kind of tapered skinny end down here bigger end up here so I figure that'll I don't know it'll work I'm playing with it see what happens worst case scenario I take more more material out or it doesn't work at all I guess so we'll give it a shot and see what it does <laughs> Alright guys, since I'm waiting on the air compressor to build back up, I kind of, I was really hogging it for a while. I'll let it build back up and I'll kind of explain what I'm doing right now. For now, with it being set up in the vise like it is now, I'm, I'm doing the bottoms first. You know, so that way, as I'm putting this in there, I can kind of put the downward pressure on it and I'm not constantly having to pick up on it. And then, once I get the bottoms done, on all that, then I'll flip it over and throw it back in the vise and I'll do what's the top now get them all like I said they're gonna look a lot more square than what they did before to try to take up some of this meat here in the center to keep it from just smacking into it so we're getting there we're making a decent dent these actually are doing better than I better than the other one was but uh, I'm gonna keep hogging on it and I'll keep showing you little clips here and there as, as this part gets a lot smaller uh, you'll notice these get a lot smaller too and then the, the actual hole itself starts to look a lot more square the shape of it doesn't really matter 
and if I had a bunch of money, I'd probably flow test it and all that stuff, make sure each each port is flowing the same. We ain't that high dollar. So I'm gonna do it like I did on my race truck and, and help him out and I mean after that I, I got nothing for him. I, I mean aside from driving the truck for him, I, I really can't do anything else for him. So just give you a little bit of an update on what we're looking at. It's almost done. I got some other little stuff to to take out yet, but it's getting real real close. Getting hard to see now. So, gonna get her all finished up and then I'm gonna hit it with some sandpaper just to take some of the roughness off of it. You don't want it you don't want it to be perfectly smooth. You don't want it to be like glassy or nothing. You want it to have a little bit of a texture to it. So I'm just gonna hit it with some sandpaper and call that good. And then it's time to start on the uh, the other side here. Get that done, and then it's the head, which I'm gonna, I don't know. The head might be kind of difficult to do with with what I got, but I'll give her a go and find out. But for now, let me finish this up real quick, and we'll get back with you guys. Okay, so. As you can see, I got everything done but the sandpaper. I haven't run any sandpaper in there yet, but I just wanted to show you. I threw the gasket on here just to set it there. See what we're dealing with. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit it with some sandpaper real quick, and I'll show you that, and then we'll get started up there. Okay, so what I did is I went ahead and I took a drill bit, and I drilled you know some of the bulkiness off of this just so it doesn't take quite so long with the die grinder to get them knocked down these these are not these were uh, where the factory uh, fuel injector stuck through and uh, they just they welded them shut so I'm gonna smooth those out so it's not so intrusive these aren't really aren't terrible but I'm gonna make it just a little bit better and like I said I drilled those out just to help save some time because it takes forever to grind this stuff down so that's where we're at now all right so we're about halfway through on this side I got this one basically all the way done but I just gotta sand it yet and make it smoother I haven't really messed with this too much aside from just kind of knocking some of the black sooty crap off of it same with that one this one here I'm about know, three quarters of the way done with this yeah a little bit more here to do and then just a little bit right here smooth this out you know not much more but this side's definitely going faster than the other side was think you know thinking about drilling those holes out like I did right here that really helped out a bunch that's a lot of material that I had to take out of there all right while well, the air compressor is building back up again got this side all but all but done I'm just gonna hit it with the sandpaper real quick just to just to make it a little bit more fancy, but other than that, this piece is done. So on to the head next. Alright, so I just started on the head. I started right here. This is going to go a lot faster than the intake did, because one, I'm not doing as much, and two, this is actually cutting better. So what I would imagine is this, this piece that I'm using here, I'm assuming it's probably actually for metal, not for aluminum. But uh, it's it's working pretty good, so this, this shouldn't take long at all. All right, real fast, I just wanted to show you the difference this makes is crazy. Look how big those are. Look at how tiny those were. Look at this. Little dinky baby ports. Big old open wide ones. All right, guys, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for today. Uh, got everything ported, polished, gasket matched, the whole nine yards. So if you like this video, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell icon, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. See ya.